Hey, Michael, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, I called about the multiple mentions of religion and also the reference to the Declaration. And finally, uh, now slavery pops up. I would like to ask you about the first sentence of the entirety of U.S. law, which is on the first page of our first law book at our courthouse library. And that mentions two laws. And according to Jefferson and Sir William Blackstone that instructed Jefferson and our founders, there are two laws. And of those, no human laws should be suffered to contradict these. And I think because we're violating those two laws, we are con contradicting those two laws, we are becoming slaves. Do you know the actual names of the two laws in the first sentence of U.S. law? No, you go, go ahead and, and okay. answer the question, sir. Yeah. Okay. It mentions uh, the laws of nature which is referred to as creation and the laws of nature's God, which is the revealed law of the Bible. And the reason it's the first sentence in the entirety of U.S. law is it's the utter foundation of our law. And of those, Blackstone had said, no human laws should be suffered to contradict creation or the Bible. Okay. That's Bob in Texas. Well, it's interesting. The, uh, Blackstone published this commentaries on English law, I believe in 1765. And it was a, a document which the American founders knew very well, and in particular, uh, the founders who were trained as lawyers, as Jefferson was, as Hamilton was, uh, and, uh, and many others. Uh, so uh, this was important. The, the heritage of the English common law um, continued to be important. And I think, um, you know, one of the things that uh, you see in the Constitution, uh, just as you saw in the, in the conduct of George Washington, was a sense that it was important to accept the rules of law and limited government. Washington as a general was urged uh, 